All right, um, so my name is Dr. Musa Swagid. Um, I graduated from Xavier in 2019. I'm originally from uh, Denver, Colorado. And currently, right now, I am starting my PGY one year in internal medicine in uh, Dothan, Alabama, at Southeast Health. I was kind of like in a transition period of my life at this point, honestly. I was um, originally doing engineering, and I was doing aerospace engineering, and then at that point, they were having a lot of uh, layoffs, like uh, Boeing and Lockheed, and my sister was actually going to school here with my cousins, a couple of my cousins. So I did my uh, prerequisites, I got in, but I unfortunately didn't match the criteria just to jump into the med program. So I went into pre-med two, and then I did pre-med three, and then I tested out of pre-med four, and then jumped into the med program. Um, and that's where I'm currently at. And I mean, I thought pre the pre-med program honestly prepared me a lot for the med program. I felt like that was a good starting point, especially since like I was transitioning from physics, math, numbers, calculations, and all that into more science and like cells and biology and stuff like that. So I felt that the pre-med program definitely helped me out a lot That's before cool. I went into the med program. My time at Xavier was honestly, it was very good. Like the teachers here prepared you very well. And then not even just during the MD program, like they help you out. They tell you like how it's supposed to be. Like they treat, they treat you like a student, you know, you're not just a number to them, like where you would be at like these big schools. Um, so you actually get some, a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. If you need help, if you need extra help, they're always there and they're always willing and they're always open to help you out. Um, aside from that, like after I did my step one and everything, I was applying for residency and Dr. DeBay was honestly a lot of help with that. He was helping me like step by step and through everything. So it was really good to be here. Dr. DeBay, honestly, he helped me out a lot throughout all of my whole from pre-med till today. Literally, I'm not even joking that he's a good guy. He's, He's somebody you want on your side. He's a great dean. He's somebody that wants to see you succeed as well. And I'm telling you, he doesn't treat you like a number, like especially if you have like a connection with him, he will treat you like his own and awesome. help you out as much as you can or as much as you need. I didn't match, honestly, for my first two years. So I was doing a lot of volunteer work, a lot of research, just trying to get my foot in the door, you know, um, and my personal statement was the biggest thing that got me in, honestly, to residency, because I got all of my interviews from my personal statement. A lot of the program directors would straight tell me, like, I couldn't wait to meet you because of your personal statement. Like, it was very good. And that's what Dr. DeBay kept stressing. He was like, make your personal statement better. Like, make it better, revise it, keep going over it. So, I mean, it's a long time coming for me. So, trust me, I'm super excited. I can't wait to get the ball rolling next month. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm going to be going to Alabama, which I moved there May 25th. So I've been out there, and the Southern hospitality is great. The food is amazing. Everybody is super nice. So I'm honestly liking where it's at, and hopefully one day I'll be able to set some roots down there. But honestly, it was a great journey, like overall, the experience and what I gained from Xavier, the help I gained, the family that I gained, um, a lot of mentors, a lot of connections, a lot of networking here. So it's not like you're by yourself after you're done with school on the island. You still have these people that you can go to. You still have people that are in contact with you, making sure that you're doing everything proper. So Dr. DeBay definitely was huge with that. Right. Man, this alumni, I wish I had this whenever I was in med school, honestly. Like having this for my MD4, five or six would have been super huge. Just the questions the students are asking are very knowledgeable and very, it's gonna help them a lot in the future. It'll make the application process a lot easier. Like there's a lot of stuff that I was explaining to them that I had no idea about before I started applying. So this is a huge help for them. And I think this is a great event. I think it needs to continue on. I think it needs to happen every year. And it is just gonna keep improving the school and it'll hopefully increase our match rate as yeah. well. So, I mean, like, the main goal for us, like, what we've been talking about, like, us alumni at the hotel and everything is how do we make, how do we connect with these students, how do we get them to feel us, how do we get them to understand us, and how do we share exactly what they need to do, or the tough parts about the application process, like, how to go about that, how to navigate through the AAMC and my ERAS. 
So, and they're asking a lot of great questions. So I think it was very beneficial for both sides. The process is insane. And honestly, I had like, I want to say seven different personal statements before I chose one and revised it over like three times and then submitted that one. Right. Um, so I, that's what I stress a lot because just from my pa personal experience, like that's honestly what I feel like got me in. Yes, I did do a lot of studying. I did bust my butt off and I did work my butt off like a lot to get to the step score. But now that it's changing to pass fail, you need to do a lot of different things on your application. You, you gotta stand out somehow. And then, so they're gonna filter it with pass fail and then once they see your application, they're gonna read your personal statement. So I'm, that's the one thing I was stressing a lot about today because of all of my interviews I had Every program director was like, I couldn't wait to meet you. I just wanted to hear you talk. I wanted to hear what you had to say about your personal statement because you, you left me so intrigued. Cool. So I think the students are going to benefit a lot from this because there was a lot of questions I had during medical school, like going through MD1 through 5, that I had no idea what was going to happen. And us coming here and helping out the students, I think it's going to be very beneficial yeah. to everybody. And you have networking. You have a huge support system and aside from that the not the studying that you get here the knowledge that you get here the classes that you take help you prepare a lot for the exams like the real ones the step one step two they don't have the uh, cs anymore so the ck and the step two um it would be very good and i just saw on the bulletin board out there that they make them take an additional i think three exams their md6 year than I had to. I only had to take my CBSE. Mm -hmm. So that's going to even prepare them even more and it'll help them, honestly. But like the teaching that you get here is very good. You get a family environment here. Everybody's super close knit. The island is beautiful. Everybody wants to see each other succeed. Yeah, it's great and then outside of that, I'm telling you, outside of that, after you're done with the island and you pass your step one and then you get done with clinicals and then you're applying for residency, it's not like the school just drops you. Like, they don't drop you. They are there for you th every step of the way. I remember Dr. DeBay was with me every step of the way. Hey, did you do this? Did you do that? Did you get this done? Did you get your application done in time? And I was like, and I appreciated that, you know? It was good to have somebody like that who knows the process and knows what they want, knows what they expect. So you get a lot, you get the best of both worlds here.